everybody it's Becky here um just kind of want to give you a heads up I'm getting started on a table and two bench set for the back patio I got a ton of fence panels um, that were being replaced uh, from somebody's backyard so I got them full free and me and Grayson have spent the entire afternoon dismembering each panel and I got a ton of wood which I'm really excited about I got planks I've got two by fours of three different sizes and here's the scrap wood there really isn't any use for that because it's all broken but you know me I might find something so stay tuned I'm gonna start assembling and stuff tomorrow and we'll see what happens stay tuned everybody it's Becky here uh, getting ready to start on the table that I was talking about yesterday with the reclaimed wood that I was able to get for free um, we're going to be working on the tabletop first it's going to be made out of these boards um, I've got them measured 66 inches long and then we're going to be about three feet wide so I'm getting ready to frame it out and then I'll show you what it looks like stay tuned So now I've got my frame built and I'm getting ready to put the support boards in between. I just measured them out to 36 inches, getting ready to cut them on the miter and we'll get them installed and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright everybody, the frame is complete. Um, everything squared away, ready to go. I just need to shovel through that pile of boards and pick out the ones for my tabletop and get those attached. So as soon as I do that, I will show you what it looks like. All right, so we have a table. Let me show you what we've got going. Madeline's standing right now, but we finished our frame. We got our legs mounted on here. Um, what I did is I put three screws in to mount the in to the inside of the table frame, and then I put one on the outside just to give it a little bit of extra sturdiness. Um, we're sanding it down right now so we can start staining, and then we will put the tabletop on. Stay tuned. Okay, we have started staining. I got another minion to help me. They're in the midst of painting the bottom, or staining the bottom, I should say. As soon as they get that, that done, we're going to do the panels for the top. And once it's assembled, I will show you guys what it looks like. Stay tuned. Hi, everybody. It's Becky here. Um, I just wanted to give you a final look at the picnic table and benches that I built that I've been showing in this video. Uh, the rains are about to come, so I wanted to get it finished before they started. Um, here's the final look at the table and benches. Let's see. I've got two benches and then the tabletop. I didn't stain the benches yet, but I wanted to give you guys a final look. Um, because obviously, you know, you don't have to choose these colors. It's just what I decided on. Um, if you're wondering, the top is... Uh, a moss green and then the bottom is called a Sedona red. It's just stain and then this was a sealer because obviously it's gonna find you know more rain and stuff on top than on the legs. I haven't stained the benches again like I said yet but they um, are done on the same <clears throat> frame concept that the table is just on a scaled down version. The panels are the same size. Um, these are the fence panels and like I said these are the two by fours that were holding the fence panels together that I had pried apart um, I'm just, I'm really pleased with it. My family and I enjoyed an awesome outdoor dinner last night on it. We barbecued, enjoying the spring weather, and, um, I can't wait to have many more outdoor gatherings on here, entertaining guests, having birthday parties, and so on. It is amazing, and it's all on reclaimed wood. This is something that somebody was going to throw away. So, I hope that this tutorial inspires you guys and, you know, makes you look twice at the lumber that somebody is going to toss because it has so much more life left into it and my family and I plan on enjoying this for years to come. So give it a shot and have faith in yourself. You can totally do this project. I am so proud of myself. This was a big thing for me and I don't know, I just want to pass on a little bit of inspiration to you. So I hope you give it a chance. Enjoy. Bye. Hi everybody. Real quick, um, just for anybody that was wondering, 
Um, I'm going to give you the me measurements on the table and benches. Um, that way it can kind of help you uh, get an idea of what I was doing. You don't obviously have to do it this way. You can make them your own size to fit your, you know, backyard space. However, I've got a big deck and I wanted to take advantage of it. So, um, anywho, okay. The benches themselves, the <clears throat> width uh, pieces are 14 inches. The length of the bench is five feet, and then the legs are 16. Um, what I did is this 14 inch board, I also have one in the middle to kind of help brace it and frame it out. It just gives it a little bit of extra strength and support. And that was the same way as it was on the table. I don't know if you can see those really well. The measurements on the table, let's see. Sorry, give me a second. This piece is 36 inches. And the length is 66. And I know the legs, they were 30 inches. So, <clears throat> anywho, that's the measurements for them. I used self-tapping screws uh, to go inside with the wood being older. It was the best way to do it to keep them for, keep the wood from splitting. So we did self-tapping screws um, in the top because the boards are thinner. Obviously, I didn't need a long screw, um, but they ended up being, I think, one one and a half inch self-tapping screws. And then the to go through the two by fours, I think we ended up doing either a two and a half or a three inch. But that was just an all-purpose wood screw. It wasn't, you know, anything fancy. Like I said, it was what we had on hand. I wanted to do this as cheap as possible. And you can't beat free. So, anywho, there they are. There's the measurements and whatnot. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Um, I want to do nothing but help somebody, you know, do this. So, thank, again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.